Hi, I'm Charlie Demerit. I am the STEM lab teacher at Oakview Elementary School, and I teach mostly third, fourth, and fifth graders. I'm up against the stereotypes that we have even in society that a scientist, an engineer, a mathematician, somebody in the technical field is usually a smart male. Uh, who is wearing a lab coat and glasses and maybe holding some beakers and maybe having some machinery around them. And so I get the excitement of being able to help change their minds. So when they come to me, they get to use through different videos I do for them as well as uh, to do different opportunities and challenges. Uh, I introduce them to the fact that their interests actually relate into a challenge that we're doing and that they can find that opportunity uh, and see themselves in other fields that are coinciding with the STEM field. Hi, I'm Krista Ennis and I teach music at Woodland Elementary School and I teach kindergarten through fifth grades. The theme, it's okay to make a mistake as long as you've tried, in my eyes gives students um, a safe learning environment. If they come in thinking they cannot do something, they won't try. And when we don't try, we don't learn. So if we come in with an open mind of trying and doing our best, we are more willing to try new things and be successful in those things. I believe in music class, we are training students to be lifelong learners and college ready or career ready by giving them opportunities to problem solve through the different things we do, whether it be singing, playing instruments. Also goes back to trying new things and not being afraid. In your career, you have to be able to try things and not be scared to do things, and music gives us that opportunity. I'm Susan McCoy. I teach eighth grade science at Greer Middle School. I feel like, with middle school especially, they are honest to a fault, and if you really have their love and respect, I think that that's probably my greatest accomplishment. I had a, a note from a kid that I taught and she said, Miss McCoy loves everyone, it doesn't matter who it is. And so I feel like if I can do that, then I've done my job. I started out in sixth grade, but I, I love eighth grade. It's probably my favorite thing. Just the, the fact that they have humor, it's kind of like they wear a neon sign over their head, what's going on with them that day. And I can get that. And I just feel like God has just given me the gift to reach kids who are harder kids, um, the kids sometimes that, that people want to push into a corner, that seems to be the ones that I um, do the best with and I feel like science is that way I can do it. Hi, I'm Jill Parker. I teach kindergarten at Skyland Elementary. Kindergarten used to be just a time where maybe we learned our ABCs and how to count to 10 and how to interact socially. Now it's how to interact socially, how to do school, and all of the academic rigor that's been added. And I learned over the years that they really can do a lot of that academic rigor, a lot more than we really realized at first, but they still have to learn how to interact with their friends and how to socially interact to be productive citizens and to be ready to continue through school. So this is the foundation, this is where it begins. No, we're not going to college next year, but they have to love school. So it's my job, it's actually my privilege to be the first person that interacts with them in a school setting and I love children and I think they know that. I want them to love school and love reading so I think it's a great opportunity to introduce them to all of the things that they're going to need to be college and career ready. My name is Katherine Polly, and I am the music teacher at Augusta Circle Elementary School. I view music not only as what I teach, music is also how I teach. So as a music educator, I believe that it's my job to teach students how to love and appreciate music, but at the same time equipping them with the tools they need to be successful and productive members of society. So how that looks in the music room, will we learn how to collaborate so students are um, put into groups, learning how to improvise and compose and create together. Students are also learning critical thinking skills in the classroom, which is so important because we're taking the content that we're learning in the music room and relating it to the content that students are learning in their other classes. For example, we are talking about the string length 
on a violin, a viola, a cello, and a bass, and how that affects the pitch of each of those instruments. And we're relating that to how students are learning about the science of sound in their fourth grade science curriculum. My name is Lori Robbins, and I teach English as a second language at Malden High School. When I think about my greatest contribution as an educator, I really think that it comes down to advocating for my students. Because my students are new to our country, they're learning a new language, and they're trying to navigate life in American schools. My Newcomer Welcoming Committee is a group made up of other English language learners who will take the new students on tours on their first day of school, they'll follow along to their schedule, and they'll make sure that they have buddies to sit with in the cafeteria during lunch. And it's small actions that make, I think, the biggest impact on that child's first day in our schools. When I found out that a majority of my students had never stepped foot on a college campus, I organized a field trip to Clemson University. And they got to meet a panel of minority students, and they got to walk on the campus, and it really helped them to get a vision of what it looks like to be a college student. Hello, I am Teresa Rizakis. I am a math teacher and athletic director at League Academy. I have always felt like that you have to build a relationship with those children who come through your door. I could stand and teach standards and concepts day after day and them just put it on paper and give it right back to me. But in order to really have them buy in, and this goes from the beginning of my teaching career, I have made it a point to try to get to know the children. I feel like whether it's the students in my classroom or the athletes that I work with on the field as athletic director, um, the coaches, my teammates on my team, um, I want them to know that I truly care. And it, it's not fake, it, it comes from a deep place in my heart to try to learn where they come from and who they are. I'm Benjamin Sennett. I teach sixth grade science at Greenville Middle Academy. If I can find something that motivates a kid, uh, it's, it, it's so much easier to take them on a journey where they can learn whatever, whatever crazy topic we have to learn that day. I want to hear what they like. I want to do the things that they're interested in. I want them to tell me the things that they're doing. And so I can connect my content, ELA, math, science, social studies, anything, to what they like. I'm in charge of a group of kids that come to me for 45 minutes and I've got to get them ready for jobs that don't exist yet. I try to teach about current events. I try to have the latest science going on so that they can get ready for it. Um, good example, we had a lesson the other day on nanotechnologies. Well, nanotechnologies didn't exist when I was going through school and now they do. My name is Brooke Tidwell and I am a general education 4K teacher at Golden Strip Child Development Center. I find that placing learning in the hands of children, even as young as 4K, is very, very empowering and it just leads to developing this awesome love of learning. But last year they were all about the worms. Um, and while we were learning about worms, we were asking questions and one of my students asked if a worm can time travel. and. <laughs> I thought, you know, I don't think a worm can time travel, but I'm not really up to date on the latest time travel research. So I said, I don't know, let's research it. So they helped me sound out the word time travel and we spelled it and we typed it in and looked up news articles and I learned that they've actually transported one atom into space, which I didn't know. And then all of a sudden, they wanted to know what atoms were. So for the next two weeks, my class was intensely engaged with atoms, they were drawing atoms, and this was 4K. Hi, my name is Jamie Walden. I'm from Entry Career Center, and I'm the welding instructor. I have to look back at, at my life and my teacher that made me employable. Um, Jesse Cannon, I want to be that Jesse Cannon for my students. He is my teacher that to this day, 20 years out of high school, still calls me and says, hey Walden, what are you doing? Are you still pushing yourself? Are you doing the best you can do? And then I think one of the biggest things that's helped with Greenville County is the G-plus initiative. What that does is gives us an opportunity to teach these kids what it's like in the real world, the job skills, the soft skills, how to interview, how to make sure you're sitting up straight, you don't have headphones in, that 
you know, that you're going to work hard. And every day I have a, I have a book that I check 10 points per day, and that's how they get their daily grade. And that's not based on how well they do, it's how much they do. So it's almost like a production shop. But when you get out in the real world, you've got to get that job done no matter what. And it's got to be perfect every time. And I think that helps them get ready for that.